Hi everyone. Today we're going to go over how to create memos, categorize them, and then just the different memo options in the memo workspace. So first off, I created a demo project here with a sport commentary transcript. The first option I want to show you is how to create a memo while you're actively analyzing data. So you'll see I've already coded some of this transcript, but let's say I was interested in this passage. I highlight it, I apply a code or codes, but then there's something else going on here that I want to document, or let's say I want to take a, an analytical memo, create an analytical memo. To do so, you would click the little post-it note icon while you're in the excerpt. Go ahead and click that, and that brings up the create memo option. So you can title your memo and then write whatever you're thinking, um, whether it's an analytical memo about what's going on in this passage you flagged, or whether it's a question about, I'm not sure if this code fits, etc. And then you hit save. So that attached the memo to that specific excerpt. Okay, now I'm going to show you another example, but with a different feature. So let's say I'm also interested in this passage, um, but I don't want to apply a code to it yet. Let's just say I want to flag it as an excerpt by hitting the create excerpt icon. And I want to attach a memo to it. So again, I'm going to go and click in the upper right hand corner of the selection info box. And you'll note here that you have an option to create memo groups. So if you already had memo groups, they would be listed here. But if you want to create them, you can do so. So let's say I want to create a memo group called codes. So I type in codes, click create, and now I have that memo group created. So I could title this memo and then log what I'm thinking about what code this could be. And this is a great way for you to flag excerpts or issues for you and your team to talk about, or even just for yourself to come back and reflect on. So now I have that memo. It's going to be grouped under the codes category, and I can hit save. You can also create multiple memo groups from this workspace. So if I wanted to create more groups, let's say analytical memos, I would type that in and you can hit enter or select create group. So I created analytical, we have codes. Let's say we also have methods memos. So all of those are created and going to be logged and saved in the system. And then I can just exit out of this area. You can also attach a memo to a document. So if you are actively in your piece of media, you can go to the upper right hand corner and select link memos. Currently there is not one linked to this. So you could, for instance, have an overall reflective memo on this commentary and hit save. And you can also have memos linked to specific codes. So if you hover over a code, click the little post-it icon, and then you can have a code memo. Save. And now let's go to the memos workspace to look at all of the memos we created. So you'll see we have those codes on the, or excuse me, the code groups on the left are methods, analytical, and codes. And then we have all of the memos we've written so far. If you prefer a grid view in the upper right, you'll see that option. And you can also filter by date created, user, or title. You can also create new memos from this workspace if you want to just log your thoughts in general. They do not need to be connected to anything. 
And you can also further categorize these memos. So every code memo, I'm going to check. And I'm going to hit Add Memo to Group. And I'm going to select Codes and then hit Submit. So you can do those with all of your memos if you prefer to keep them uh, nicely organized, and then you can pull them up really easily by selecting them, and it's only going to show you the memos in that group. You can also search for memos by the content within them or the title or the date created, and you can do further linking from this workspace as well. So let's say you wanted to link this excerpt to a code, for instance, you can select memo links. You'll see it's already linked to this excerpt. Let's say you want to want to link it to um, a code as well. You can do so by selecting the drop down menu under link existing items and then select what you would like to link it to and then hit save. If you ever would like to uh, import memos, you can. You can import from um, an Excel sheet is the easiest way. And then you can also export any of these memos as well. If you would ever want to delete a memo, when you pull it up, you'll have the option to delete. And then circling back, if you ever want to export memos, you can check the ones you'd like to export and then hit the export icon up top. If you ever realize that it would be helpful to code a memo, you could check it and then hit create document copy. And then this will put that memo into your media workspace to be coded as a piece of data. So that is all for now. If you have any questions, please refer to the official Deduce textbook or contact support at support at deduce.com. Mm -hmm.